In today's video, I'm decorating in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Robin. Welcome back to Faith and Flower. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending your time with me here today. I am having such a good time getting our new home ready for Christmas. This is the first Christmas in our new home and I am taking it slower this year, really enjoying the decorating and making that part of our Christmas celebration. I've gathered up some goodies to create a cocoa bar or beverage station here in our kitchen for some hot drinks. And one of the first things I really enjoy doing as we start off the Christmas season is to get out our Christmas china and put it on display, but also use it. These glass cabinets in our kitchen are what I've been using as a sort of china cabinet and I want to make a display with our Christmas china but also have it right here in the kitchen so that we can use it every day. My parents gifted us this Christmas china over a period of years as our kids were growing up and we've made it a tradition to use it every day for the month of December. Since we moved into our home back in March, I've been storing our wedding china in here so that we would use it more regularly, and we really have. And I want to encourage you to do the same. If you have wedding china or Christmas china, don't just store it away and bring it out for a special occasion only. Enjoy it. <laughs> treat your family, treat yourself, and you can celebrate every day with it. When the shelves are empty, it's the perfect opportunity to clean everything. So I'm just using a microfiber cloth that's dampened with some water to wipe the glass shelves and the doors. And then I dry them with one of the window polishing cloths. I use the ones from eCloth. I think Norwex is also great. This is my favorite way to clean glass because it's so simple and easy and it really works. storing some of our Christmas china on a top shelf here in our kitchen, but I've yet to unpack one box <laughs> since we moved back in March and it's time to get those things out. It's hard to believe that it's been almost a year since I packed these things away. Christmas china is a very popular one. It's Christmas tree by Spode and every year they have a special decorative plate with a year on it with a different pattern and that is a gift that we received for years and years from my parents and I really love these. These are probably my favorite part of the collection. Bye. 
I've really been looking forward to is setting up a cocoa bar or a hot beverage station here in the kitchen right below those glass shelves. So I gathered up some of our favorite goodies and I'm going to decant them in some cute jars that I found on Amazon. is another thing that we have been collecting throughout the years. They, again, are gifts from my parents given to both Patrick and I and the boys, and I'm going to display them here in the kitchen. So I put everything out on the countertops so that I could see what I'm working with, and I started clearing some spaces and doing a little cleaning along the way.
this cute table runner on Amazon and it gave me the idea to use our nutcrackers here in the kitchen and I'm going to use those as part of our tablescape. And when I say tablescape, it's going to be very casual. We just have the one table. We don't have a formal dining room table anymore and that is by choice because whenever we have friends and family over, we all gather in the kitchen and so I wanted all of our dining to be close by and this is the table that we use on a daily basis. So I want to make it something that will be functional but also very festive. with the way things turned out in the kitchen. I was able to find a place to display all of our favorite Christmas pieces, yet I didn't have to clutter up all of the areas that we use on a daily basis to keep everything really functional. Before my Christmas decorating is complete, I wanted to do a little something to the mantle and hang our stockings. I found these simple stocking holders for the mantle on Amazon, and I'll put all of the holiday things in the holiday section of my Amazon store in case you're looking for some too, and you'll find the link for that down in the description box. I thought this would be perfect because I think that they are going to serve a dual purpose. It will help me hang a little garland and the stockings. enjoyed taking my time with decorating this year. It was a lot more fun, a lot less stressful, and it's a great way to incorporate decorating into part of the celebration for Christmas. How are you doing with your decorating? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't already subscribed to Faith and Flower, I want to invite you to do that now. We'd really love to have you join us here. We have the most amazing group of subscribers and you can meet them down in the comment section. So leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy your week and all of your Christmas preparations.